I have no idea how to tell this story. I don't even know how to start it. This is the story of my senior year of high school and how it destroyed my life. Your father and I want to talk to you about something sad. Rachel Kushner has been diagnosed with leukemia. That sucks. It sucks. It sucks quite a bit. You might be someone who could make Rachel feel better. I don't need your stupid pity. I'm not here because I pity you. I'm actually here because my mom is making me. It's actually worse. Everyone was going to find out sooner or later. One thing you can do if you don't want to talk to anyone is just enter a subhuman state. Pretend you're someone annoying. Hi, Rachel. I'm really sorry you have cancer. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so if this was a touching romantic story, our eyes would meet and suddenly we would be furiously making out with the fire of a thousand suns. But this isn't a touching romantic story. Anyway. Yep. Who is this little friend? Earl's just my coworker. I've known him since kindergarten. What you got, cat? Wanna fight? Then think so, punk ass cat. So you and Greg are co-workers? No, nah, we friends. Dude's terrified of calling somebody his friend. Dude's got issues. But how are you co-workers? We make films. Movies? They're terrible. Greg, you never told me. The idea behind each one was, we took a film that we liked, and we made the title stupider, and then made a new film to reflect the new title. Oh. It's a formula that only produces horrible films, but for some reason we keep using it. You need to make a film for Rachel. Hi, Rachel. I don't really know you, but I believe in you. I know you're Jewish, but God has a plan for you. Out of all the people in the school, I don't hate you. Damn. You guys were making a movie for me. We tried a bunch of stuff and it's not that good. Now is not the time for your, I'm Greg, I suck, nothing I do is any good thing. We agreed to do a film that we have no idea what it should look like or even be. What was I thinking? I'm so tired of you treating this girl like she a burden. Because somebody actually cares about you, her life is over after this. Life can keep unfolding itself to you just as long as you pay attention to it. It was the best of times. <laughs> Worst of times. It's so much harder than I thought it was. It was life.